Hello and welcome to the Visual Designs YouTube channel. So in this one I'll be putting all the bitumen roofing sheets on the, um, the kiln shed roof uh, and uh, yeah getting that all finished up. Um, should be an interesting one for me, I've not done it before so we'll see how it all goes. Right, so the fun bit, screwing down some sheets. Let's see if I make holes in the wrong place, this will be fun. There we go, that one. What I should have brought up with me is a board. So I can get one screw in and uh, use that as a guide to where the beans below are. There's that one, there's this one. actually like roofing. No running off you. No, I think you did run off. Nope. You did run off. <laughs> Come back to me. Right, got my bit back after it's uh tried running for its life. Apparently you're not supposed to be doing this. Ah, right, there we go. Slight curve over the edges for that want. I'm not gonna put in all the screws because as usual they didn't all arrive. top of the ridges instead of down in the gullies because I feel a bit more <laughs> secure weather-wise with the uh, holes being in the top rather than down where all the water's obviously going to run out. Right. 
What's that one? There we go. Right. And then next sheet on for now. I'll keep going across and then I'll come back and fill in these when I get the rest of the screw. For now, let's get it done. Right. Right. So I've managed to finish the roof on the kiln box. Um, quite proud of myself to be honest. Uh, did it completely on my own. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's a bit of, a, bit of an experience. I haven't put um, bitumen sheeting down ever. Last time I did sheet, uh, roofing on my own, probably eight years ago when I had eyesight. So, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, giving myself a bit of a pat on the back for it. Um, I was, turns out I was two inches off on the one, so the first big post of the front there is two inches further out than the, the other side. Um, but it, it, it's, it's all fine, there's plenty of play there. Um, learned a few things about the bitumen, uh, doing it on a hot sunny day, not the best because it goes quite uh, soft and spongy, uh, so as I was going over it, it was um, giving way under me, so trying to spread your weight out, which, well, which I'd recommend anyway on this stuff, um, it's not the best for strength. Um, uh, it's also I couldn't use the um, the clutch on the drill um, for it because of how soft the um, the bitumen sheets are. Um, so I had to do it all by feel and figure out when to stop. I just made one did make one mistake as um, my grandad came up and started talking and distracted me, and I went in a little bit too far. So uh, made a bit of a quite a dent where the screw was. So I'd. Um, flooded the hole with uh, roofing sealant and then put some um, inch and a quarter rubber washers on top of that and then put the screw in to try and fill it in. Um, hopefully that should stop it, otherwise I think I did it on the end of a sheet and I have a quarter sheet left over so I might be able to um, use that to uh, patch that hole. Um, Hopefully it should be done. Other than that, it went uh, pretty smoothly. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'll uh, crack on with getting the rest of this done. Uh, I think I'll be having some proper assistance with the rest of it now. I can't, I can't keep going with this on my own. Um, right, so back to work then. So that's the roof done now. Um, time to start getting all the insulation done. I uh, was quite happy with how it went, given mostly done it by myself. So yeah, let's uh, get all the insulation uh, started now. Um, maybe, maybe I'll better get the walls on as well. We'll see how all that goes. Anyway, uh, please check out the visionlessdesigns.com website where you'll find links to the Etsy store, Facebook and Instagram. And please check out my future videos and any questions, please post them in the comments down below. Thank you very much and hope to see you in future videos.